Hello YouTube, this is Shirley 426 and today we have the review of the Premium Bandai Exclusive or P Bandai Exclusive HG Gym Night Seeker. I am really happy that this kit got announced because the Gym Night Seeker is one of my most anticipated uh, gym variants out there. Now there are some other gym variants out there but I'm really glad that I am able to scratch at least one out of the list now. Uh, to be honest, I was hoping to see this in the Masquerade format because how the ma they use the Masquerade Gym 2.0 frame a lot was in other gym variants, so I was expecting it, but oh well, uh, that's also fine by me. Alright, so before we go over our usual, uh, com uh, our usual standard review way, let's go over the components by looking at the leftover parts. Yes, being a premium Bandai kit and being a gym variant, it's, it's pretty much given that we are going to see some leftover parts. So here are the ones I cut off, so just for the sake of, you know, convenience. So here we have the standard gym, uh, the front leg armor. So I believe, like, if you bought the gym, uh, gym cannon space assault type, and then I believe, such as the gym intercept custom, you should have these parts. Uh, the gym night seeker, on the other hand, uses a much more clean and simple look going on here. And then here we have some leftover parts. So here we have the side skirt parts for because this is not the right color we use. We actually use one of the uh, milky white creamy colors. And then here we have some uh, leg parts that are technically used, such as on the gym sniper custom or the gym space assault type, where these are the thrusters that goes onto the back of the leg. So here's the thruster and here's that connector part. And we get a, a set of those. And then here we have some side parts. Once again, we don't use these colors. We actually use the dark gray color that we just saw. So once again, leftover parts. And then here we have some leftover parts. So here we have the chest vents part because this one actually does not use these vents and has an entirely different uh, body design or body format. Not well, actually different chest design uh, to be more specific, which is why we don't use this. We get a set, but also a extra beam saver leftover part because we only use one as well. And some leftover poly caps, nothing too special about those. And here are some other stuff. So number one, we get a sticker sheet. Currently, as you can see, I only use five. So these are uh, number one and two. Those are a, a set of head cameras because we actually get two heads. So which is why they provided head pa uh, two sets of head cameras for, as well. Uh, this last one I did use is for the uh, some sort of sensor on the antenna, which I'll point out later. This other one I did not use is for another uh, antenna part, so they want you to wrap around this sticker, and I am not a big fan of those, so which is why I did not use it, and it doesn't. I don't think it would look good because of the colors. And then this one is for the cockpit section, which I will go over later, but I personally think it's not really necessary, or you can just color it your own. Oops, that was close. And then here we have a sticker decal sheet. You've got all your symbols, your your warning label, labels, and all those such. And on, I believe I only use three. Number one is this symbol. We actually get a two set, so which is why I use one. And then we get the EFSS uh, logo slash symbol. And then I actually did use the uh, Federation cross symbol, which I believe they only gave you one. So, yeah. All right, and here are some stuff. So number one, other than the multi-purpose hands that you get from the kit, you also get open hands for left and right. I am really happy about these because we, we don't really see these hands too often so these will be a big help as well. And then we get a alternate head which I was, well this was actually mentioned in the promo pics but still yeah. Uh, so if you are more fond to the more traditional gym look this is what you use and then this is where you're supposed to use that yellow and white sticker and wrapping around. Once again I don't think it would look good because of the color scheme so yeah I think without the sticker looks much better. And here we have the head camera front and back so here's one set. And then here we have some beam saver effect parts. Pretty much, you're going to be using one. And then this. So we get both. We get two trigger finger hands. One each for left and right. And here on the left hand, I already attached. I already attached the hands just to save time. And here they have, we have your standard beam spray gun. Nothing too special. If we still have the peg, but you won't be using on this kit because there's no gimmick for that. And then this, this beam gun, this is a specific beam gun that's only used by two mobile suits, or as far as I know, in Gundam Battle Operation 2, only two. One being the Gym Knight Seeker, Seeker two being, the second one being the Gym Light Armor Custom, or the Gym Light Armor Type, to be more specific. And the Gym Light Armor Type is also another more anticipated Gym variant. That I'm hoping to come out as either a master grade or HG kit. I'm really waiting for one as well. And this beam gun actually gives me some hope that we might see one sooner or later. Whether it's premium Bandai or not, I am definitely getting it. If you know my channel, I, you can see I have I have no issues with premium Bandai kits. Figures, yes, but kits, not so much. All right. So now 
that's not our usual comparisons. So here we, I'm not sure if comparisons was required, but I just wanted to point out a few things because uh, the, the the gym night seeker is definitely going for a much more traditional gym look as well. So here we have some past previous uh, premium Bondi HG gym kits, but they still have most of the main stuff, especially the gym uh, the gym sniper custom. So number one, the legs. You can see we have now a much more clean and simple leg, such as the original gym going on here. The arms are pretty much the same, so I'm expecting those going to be are still going to be you know recycled. And the body, obviously, each of them are different, but so far most of the gym kits that we got from the origin lines had these chest vents, which I'm not the biggest fan of these, but still works most. But still, we had most of these until. The, we got the gym space, uh, the the gym can space assault type, which had a much more traditional gym chest look. Of course, the only limitations would be this section on the cannon because that uh, can that section is actually empty, and hence we can't really use it to make a standard gym going on here. But the head definitely has a much more standard look. And now, obviously, the well, the body section for the gym night secret was always unique. They, we had these extra thrusters instead of vents, so that's a kind of a, a unique case. But the front skirt. The front skirt is much more closer to the original gym design as well. Well, technically, uh, this design isn't too far-fetched as well because if you buy the Master Rate Gym 2.0, they actually give you two options, whether to use this or something like that without the uh, Federation symbol. So we're actually really close on getting a standard gym. So like I always said, like the local type, uh, we're, we're almost there. We're almost there in getting a gym kit, a standard gym kit. Okay, so now let's start with the review. So let's go over the head. Now the head, obviously we have the front and back head camera as I mentioned, and then we have this blue sticker on the side. So that's, I believe, is like a sensor or sensor going on here as well. So the head, this is actually a, a mask that is permanently on. It's not like how the Gym Sniper Custom can fold it down and up as well. It's not that case. But what I also like is that I, would ex I was expecting that they would, you attach them face mask going on here and then just some, and insert a blue sticker on the inside. But no, that is not the case. Actually, what you do is that there is actually a clear blue piece on the on the head. So behind the mask is a standard gym head. And then on the gym head, the visor section, you put a clear blue piece, but not your standard uh, visor, but a, a visor with a extra end tip going on here on the front. And then you attach the face mask. And hence, uh, you can actually see the blue clear piece inside there. And I really like that small detail going on here. All right, and other than that, let's look at the arms. So, uh, and the head doesn't really move that much. We have the check and neck going on here, but that's pretty much it. You can make it go slightly up or down, but doesn't it's not really too much going on here. But I think it like did it, like this, it works. But once again, it's going, it's doing the chicken neck going on here. So yeah. And then the arms. The arms are your standard connection with a ball joint, so we can go forward and backward. But you can go a little bit more if you pull out the poly cap that's inside there. And then you can go to the side more than 90 degrees and a 360 twist shouldn't be a problem since it's a Baldwin connection and a lower arm twist going on here and a stand and a double jointed band going on here. Very nice. Although we still get we don't have actually a shield, but still they do give you a hole to connect multiple stuff. And looking at the front body, yes, these thrusters are actually um, are, are, con are connected using the polycap ball joint so hence we have some nice movement going on here um, and then on the back we have multiple thrusters yes they, these are thrusters and this is a thruster and I believe this one is also a thruster that is how the design is so I, I always assume that the gym, the gym night seeker is supposed to be a little bit more agile and faster of course in the Gundam Battle Operation 2 in space not so much it feels a little bit more lacking and slow but hopefully they, they did that just to balance out the game but still uh, yeah, we really, I really like this color design, and we only, we only get one beam saber uh, connection point, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind if they had gave us a double one. Beam. And but I believe, like, um, I'm also hoping that they would also go for the gym night seeker two, which is based on the gym two rather than the regular gym. So on the backpack, there's only a few moving points in these sections. So these sections can move up and down, and then I believe they are able to rotate going on 360 as well. And then on the top section, we can also rotate the top uh, thruster. Uh, we can rotate the top thruster 360 as well, as far as I can tell. And then go up, and we go down and up as well. 
So yeah, and most of the time, if you've seen the Jim Knight sticker, he the backpack or these positions would be always in this kind of a design. And I believe these are mostly uh, used, including the front thrusters, is to more, is to give the most much more control when it's landing on some place. So let's say it was dropped out of plane, and then uh, this actually gives uh, the Jim Knight sticker much more control on where he could land on on surface, which is why it's a really interesting design. And I started to talk, talk about body, and then here is the cockpit section, which is in a much more, I'm not sure, this is a, actually, I'm not sure if you can see in camera, but this is a much more of a brown color, hence, I guess that's why they wanted to use a black sticker, but I believe this, this, this kind of part is easier to, like, paint. And then uh, the front skirt. The back skirt, I believe, does not move as usual. Side skirts are pretty much standard. They move slightly. And the front skirt. Now, despite how they look, they are actually kind of work moving together because of the way how the connection is going on there. So, yeah. As far as I know. And you can see the connection is actually on the, fr on the front. So, this is not exactly one of those front skirts that you can actually divide, as far as I know, because of how the connection is very different. And there is actually like an inner frame piece going on here. If, I, if my camera could freaking focus for once. Uh, so, yeah. Not, it's kind of over your different style of front skirt. So, kind of an aud oddity going on here. So, with that in mind, we have... Uh, and then the main body I forgot to mention 360 twist is possible of course you might need to pull it out a little bit and then hey, we have a nice ab crunch going on here alright and then the, the legs are pretty much your standard we have a nice side swivel going on here you can go to the side less than 90 uh, well almost 90 degrees but because of the uh, side skirts and then back not so much because the back skirt does not move and with that front skirt it does limit the front kick a little bit so yeah but if you work your way around you can slightly move a little bit more but still kind of a limited because of how the front skirt design is and my camera is having so much trouble focusing today I have no idea why and there we go and we have your standard ball jointed feet that has a nice pivot going on here front and backwards and then the leg bend can go your standard double jointed bend going on here Alright, so we're done with the basics, so I'll be right back with the equipment demonstrations. Alright, I'm back, so currently I pretty much gave it just the double beam gun on each hand, and I just wanted to show you guys that the, the thrusters that are on the back are able to move forward, just for those who are like thinking on customizing this instead of making those into thrusters, but into like some sort of cannons, you are able to do that as well. So I'm not going to really do any beam saver like demonstrations, because it's pretty much your standard, you plug in the beam saver, uh, on the hand and then you plug in the effect part and that's pretty much it. Now I was hoping that you could plug in the beam saver effect parts onto the guns but once again the end tip barrel does not actually have the proper hole they're just kind of clogged up in, on the inside. But still I really love how the this gym looks going on here. And you still have your standard connection action based joint uh, action based connector on the bottom as well. So yeah I'm really hoping that we could see a uh, what you call the, the gym light armor type so yeah, it, they will really look good together. Uh, regarding the beam savers, they still um, the beam saver effect. Um, this the beam saver handle still has that hole going on here, which has no purpose on this kit as well. So I'm just gonna assume that they kind of re reuse the uh, same molds on the Gundam local type, which actually had the gimmick on to where you could attach the beam savers onto the uh, wrist or slash arm. So yeah. But that's pretty much it for the review. So once again, if you're a big fan of gyms like me, this is a must-get uh, gym variant kit. So, yeah, and once again, that that beam gun slash is going to is a pretty much good idea, or maybe a hint that we might get a uh, gym light armor type. Anyway, thank you for watching the review. This was the review of the Premium Bond Light exclusive or P Bond Light exclusive HG Gym Night Seeker review. If you guys got any questions or request in the comment below, I still have more stuff to buy and build and make reviews out. So please stay tuned. Until then, see you guys next time!